It was always Robert Joffrey's uh, desire to bring Sir Frederick Ashton's Cinderella to the Joffrey. And unfortunately, he never had that opportunity while he was alive. What is so wonderful now is that we have this glorious production choreographed by Sir Frederick Ashton. It was his first full-length ballet that he choreographed. It premiered in 1948, and it holds all the magic that we want from the story of Cinderella. Sir Frederick Ashton started off as a dancer himself, but then soon went into choreography. He started with small ballets, but soon developed this wonderful, wonderful choreographic genius, really. Soon after the war, he produced symphonic variations, and soon after that came Cinderella. He really understood the score. The way he has told the story with Prokofiev's music, for me, it is so one. It meets exactly at the right place. There's some very, very beautiful moments in Cinderella. Very, very wide intervals, making the orchestration quite unique, uh, very rhythmic, and also this is a lot lighter in style than Romeo and Juliet. I mean, it's somewhat comical, it's somewhat macabre, it's somewhat cabaret-esque, but still maintaining the very, very stylistic Prokofiev-isms of the interesting orchestrations, the thickness of the orchestrations, the, the way he modulates from key to key. It's an absolutely brilliant score. The entrance of Cinderella is probably one of the most beautiful entrances a ballerina could make. It's so beautiful. She comes at the top of the stairs and then she's got this beautiful cape behind her, which is floating behind her, and she comes down the stairs on point, not looking at all, it's just the most magical moment. And then, of course, when the two meet and they look at each other, it's love at first sight. On many, many levels, um, these, these ballets, these fairy tales, have, um, you know, good does overcome evil, love conquers all. And they are messages we still want to believe in today, you know, however tough it is. I think fairy tales are very, very important. As you know, we all learn about fairy tales when we're tiny children, even before we can hardly read. And I think it teaches us what life is really all about, to be generous and giving and loving, and not to be horrible and cruel. What I hope is that all of you come to the Joffrey swept away by this magical production, and that, like me, you can still believe in, in, uh, in the best case scenario.